The 2024 Neat Deep Expedition has wrapped up after an incredible three weeks of exploring the deep sea offshore of Haida Gwaii and Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada. We continued our mission to explore, understand and protect important places in the deep. We dove into the unexplored areas in the Hecate Strait and Queen Charlotte Sound Marine Protected Area, mapping the location of healthy glass boundaries and bottom contact fishing impacts. In the new proposed marine protected area offshore of Haida Gwaii, we captured imagery of never before seen habitat, including a mysterious mud volcano, a winding underwater river, and the deep cliffs off the continental slope. Each place was home to a unique cast of animals, including corals, sponges, rockfish, and skates. An important aspect of this work was understanding the effects of historic and active fishing on these local communities. We returned to Saan Kimpless Bowie Marine Protected Area to monitor the impacts of climate change. Despite these being the best studied seamounts in Canada, our recent dives led to the discovery of the densest and largest coral forests the team has ever seen, and potentially new sponge species. More data was collected that supports considering the Tuza Wilson Seamount complex for future protection. We mapped the heat flow from the surrounding area to the volcano and its summit, where warm water is venting and bathing the millions of skate eggs on its summit. We documented the newly discovered migration of the deep sea skates, including the giant Pacific white skate, as they swam up an underwater volcano to lay their eggs in this globally unique site. The warm and sheltered nursery helps protect the eggs during their four year incubation period. With a storybook ending to the expedition, our last dive revealed the summit is much bigger than previously thought, and the southern extension is covered in Pacific Canada's first and only known forest of deep sea precious corals. We witnessed and filmed truly awe-inspiring moments of life and death in the deep, rarely seen by human eyes. A dazzling squid with its thousands of eggs. A young giant phantom jelly. The pink egg nests of the blobfish. We further recorded the life story of the deep sea octopus from eggs to young, foraging and parenting and even death. Fin whales passed by our ship while deep below we surveyed the remains of whale falls on the seabed. Our expedition was made possible thanks to the crew and pilots of the Canadian Coast Guard ship John P. Tully and the remotely operated vehicle Robos. Throughout the expedition, we collected specimens to identify species and study their DNA. We took sediment samples to see how much carbon is stored and to learn what lives in the seafloor. We made 3D maps of our monitoring sites using photo mosaics. We also gathered ocean data with various tools such as rosettes, bongos, gliders, baited camera systems, and environmental DNA, all to study life in these waters. The expedition activities were broadcast to a global audience as we hosted live outreach events from the ship shared highlights on social media, and live-streamed all dives. The ATSI team was a multinational and interdisciplinary collective working together to safeguard the ocean for future generations. This expedition is part of the United Nations Ocean Decade and will contribute to our global understanding of the deep sea through the Challenger 150 program.